Hello everybody, so exciting day today. It is um, the start of our calving season. We have had our first calf. So what we need to do, um, she's out in the field at the minute. We need to bring her in to the shed um, so she's close to the parlor. So the whole shed has been washed and disinfected um, kind of a month ago probably, it's all dried out. So we've got to put the water tank back in, um, feed her in the corner and bring in some hay, put some lime onto the dirt floor or the stone floor um, that we can't disinfect and bring some straw in and bring her in. Okay, so there we are, all nicely limed. All that lime does is just um, dries it out, any bits that's left wet. I don't think there is any, it's been, been empty for long enough. Um, but just because we can't disinfect the stone floor, it just kills off any remaining bugs. Um, the walls and the concrete is easy to, easy to disinfect, but um, the floor not quite so much. So the lime will just take care of that. So we'll go put the tank in. So we'll just plumb back into here. Um, I'm not going to put the second tank for this shed in just yet if we don't need it so it can stay empty. Um, I'll find somewhere to put you. Yeah, all right. Aye. Yeah, all right. Right, so there we go, all connected up. We will just check for leaks. That's all good, that will just sit there and run in its own time now. Um, so Dad is just bringing in a bale of oilseed rape straw um, to put on the floor, and then he will bring a bale of hay to put in the feeder. We're gonna bring in the second cut hay we made two or three weeks ago. Um, the nice leafy stuff, so that is ideal for a fresh calved heifer. Um, it's only one, so we don't want to put silage in here because it will go off before a bale gets eaten. Um, but the hay will sit there um, and you know it will last as long as they need it to uh, without, without deteriorating and going off. So let's go and get, get a prong, get this straw spread out. So we can't get hold of a bale of rape straw because there's stuff stacked in front of it. So we're going to map row one out. Got the pallet forks on, that'll be alright. Just a bit last bit of fertilizer of the year going out. Um, because it's going to rain tomorrow. So. <laughs>
So there we go, water tank is in, bed is in, food is in. So this is the hay we made uh, just a couple of weeks ago. Turned out. So it turned out lovely, dry, leafy, good quality, perfect stuff. Right, let's go find a cow. Okay, so here we are, we'll just finish off the video. Um, I forgot to do this bit yesterday, so we've come in and it's the next day now. Um, as you can see, they've settled in together well. Still nothing else was calf, just this one. Um, so she's just living in here with her calf on her own. Um, so the heifer is three weeks short of two years old um, and has calved in 
cracking looking heifer. So she is a Swedish Red Cross um, and the calf is a Frisian cross. So the calf's father is Frisian I and mean, obviously it's taken bits of Swedish Red and bits of Frisian from the mother. So she's been through the parlour a couple of times now, um, settling in quite nicely and looking after baby very well. So I think we'll just leave them to get on with it. So I will say thank you very much for watching and we'll see you next time.